Hi. 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 <laughs> Lana, what can I do for you? Um, do you want to tell us a bit more about yourself, your, your history with skiing? Uh, and what your role is here? Yeah, my, like my role here, I'm the ski area manager, mm -hmm. which means I do probably the least work. I don't have a role, I just, I just try and paper over the cracks and make sure things keep going in a good direction. Um, I've worked in skiing off and on since 1983 mm -hmm. uh, as a ski instructor, race coach, running events, um, all sorts of things basically and I I only came back to here this is my second year at Coronet and prior to that I'd taken about probably 15 years out to be in project management hospitality and the wider tourism industry. Weren't you quite big in the snowboard in, in New Zealand? I was I was the first snowboard instructor in New Zealand and I started both the New Zealand Snowboard Nationals and also the New Zealand Snowboard Association and helped pull together the New Zealand Snowboard Instructors Association, which is now merged with the, the wider instructing group, which is good. That was a good long-term goal, but short-term it was actually to be quite, um, it was good for snowboarding to be on its own and do it, develop itself. Yeah, definitely. Um, we're interested to know how you get people to know about Cronet Peak through marketing. I think, well, because we don't do any marketing here, that's a group effort, but the key thing for Coronet Peak is to be visible on social media. One of the problems that Chinese people will find is we're not active at all on Weibo or, or any of that, um, and that's a bit of a weakness, I suppose, in terms of developing markets, but we don't even have a profile there. Um, but we do, I think we are quite active on the the Western social media channels and very visible there. And the other thing with skiing, because it's a repeat experience, it's very much about influences. And I think you can't underestimate the influence of our 12,000 season pass holders, which come from all over the world. Is that the, the social media, the tiny size, something that you're looking at? Sorry? Would you consider the Weibo and that? Is that something you'd consider looking at? If I was doing marketing, we'd already have a Weibo profile. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, how long is a season, a snow season here usually, typically? It's it's a hundred days. It, that's pretty much normal from early June, early to mid June, mm -hmm. through to the end of September. And um, how could Cornet Peak be more an outstanding ski field among the others in New Zealand? I think the thing is we're already quite separate and unique and it's probably because we're so, our 100 day season is relatively short but it's very intense. So the hours of operation we run, you know, we run from 7am till 9pm three days a week through most of that season. That's basically a 14 hour day. The rest of the ski fields in New Zealand don't operate longer than seven days, seven hours a day. So we almost operate a whole second season within our season to all the other skiers in the night skiing and the race training and the convenience to Queenstown, that wider tourism reach are things that set us apart. Um, and just quickly the intro to snow, the intro to ski, yep. that program, um, do you want to give some details towards that? That would be quite interesting for Yeah, well the thing is we, I think the New Zealand ski industry has always worked on the one day principle so that's a starter pack you come for a day you get morning and afternoon lesson you get your rental gear and you get a basic lift pass the intro to snow is about getting turning them from i tried skiing to i am a skier and so it's a basically that program but in four days and the goal is to progress people through that so that at the end of four days you've normally done all the hard work because skiing and boarding the first day physically is very challenging the second day is easier, the third day is easier again, and the reward is coming at the same time. So it's about filling that, and that's what the four day intro pack is about. Perfect. Mm -hmm. um, that's all the questions that I have. Yeah. Yeah? Yes. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Was that it? Yeah. Sorry. Thank, Thank you. you.